Can we talk about Mal Evans' diaries? Yeah. It's a tragic loss to our knowledge, not perhaps as a detailed technical chronology, uh, but, um, but as a social history from the man who was there the whole time. And more critically, something that was um, written at the time. So the questions are, do the diaries still exist? Have you had access to them? And have you seen Mel's near-complete manuscript of his unpublished book? Right. Um, the diaries, Mal Evans' diaries do exist. I've seen 63. I've, and I've seen several of the others a long, long time ago, way back in about 1991. Um, long before I was ever contemplating a history of the kind I'm doing now and well before digital cameras yeah. and in, not in the vicinity of a photocopier or indeed with the, in the position to be able to make notes so I turned the pages I remember the 71 diary was very good on all of George's session dates oh. and, 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 and more John actually John's session dates more than George's um, but all their comings and goings basically um, I did go through them skimpily yep. and I always hoped to, to regain the opportunity at some point and certainly when I began this project I realised it was a priority that I actually had proper access to all the, di all the diaries and so far I've not managed it I've only done 60 I've got 63 well, okay. but I haven't got the others are they and the good six hands? yeah okay. yeah they're in the family still yeah. That's, that's good so they're the best yeah, hands yeah. Uh, they're where they should be and they shouldn't ever be made public really until they're ready for it yep. um, and that they're, they'll be on their own timetable not anybody else's do you think they have a, um, a, a, an appetite to make them public at some point I hope so Yeah. I hope so I, 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 I very much need to see 64, 5 and 6 in the next couple of years yeah. and um, but you, you, you have to be respectful of, of people's decisions. I'm, I, I, I can be persistent, but I won't be brutally persistent. I will respect when people say, no, we're not going to do it right now, yeah. and there's no point in pressing that. When they're ready, they're ready. Yeah. And if it doesn't suit my timetable, well, okay, I just have to swallow that. Yeah. Uh, as long as we get to know the information at some point, it's not lost if they're thrown away without anybody ever seeing them I think that's that would be wrong but if they're put in trust for their release eventually or whatever whatever they decide that will be the right thing because it's personal it's family you know nobody else's family yeah. the Beatles were now big business as well as a musical institution they were the hottest property in the world Mal Evans the Beatles road manager for 11 years is currently writing a book about his experiences with the group entitled 200 Miles to Go. Mal spoke with us about the selling of the Beatles. Here he is. We talked about the way in which the Beatles were very good to other people and, they, and so on. How many people took them? I don't know, the fingers <laughs> A lot of people, I think, yeah. A lot of people came. Well, I think, um, you see, a lot of people have what I call short-term heads, you know, they think, well, we get as much out of them as we can now because in six months' time the group isn't going to be here. So they make a quick killing or whatever, you know. I don't know, six months' time, a year's time, the group's still there, so somebody else takes over, you know. So I think a lot of people have come and gone over the years and made money out of them. 